Also das Auge fasziniert. I'm fascinated by the eye because it can do so much more than technology can emulate. Just think about what happens when you play table tennis. A small dot races a few millimeters across the eye, is analyzed in a split second and then reacted to by hitting the dot with a racket. We are visual beings and that makes the eye so fascinating. Und das ist das faszinierende am Auge. My name is Eberhard Srenner. I'm a professor of ophthalmology at the University of Tübingen. My goal in life is to develop therapies to help the blind see again. It is very depressing to have to tell a young student who's just starting out in life, you are going blind and there's nothing we can do about it. And if you have to say that time and again, you do start to wonder, is there really no therapy available? I'm very pleased that we found a solution for our blind patients suffering from hereditary retinal disorders. The solution is this implant, a chip. In 2005, we were ready to test it and we had a patient who wanted to try it, Mr. Wüstner. It took real courage back then to say, I'm taking part, and he's still taking part today. We were tremendously excited when it came to the first trial. This had never been done before, so we turned it on and were so anxious because we'd get the answer to our question, what does the patient see? To begin with, he didn't see anything at all. Naturally, we were cautious at first and switched on one electrode after another, but he didn't see anything. Of course, there's no denying our disappointment. We had hoped we could release Mr. Wüstner and watch him tell his guide dog which way to go. That would have been nice. After some time, the chip was removed and we discovered that moisture had permeated the chip. There was a simple capsule made of very thin plastic around the chip, and back then it wasn't water resistant. After a few years, we came to a decisive moment in the whole project. Our patient, Mika from Finland, is a very bright individual. He understands the technology. We could really discuss things with him. And we start with the first letter. Two verticals. This must be M. After so many years of work, we arrived at the high point. The patient could recognize letters of the alphabet and string them together to form words. That was the moment we knew our chip worked. It's a small thing for everybody else. But I have not been able to read for 15 or 20 years and not been able to see anything exactly. And now I start out learning it all over again. Our patients tell us this about what they see. First, it's like a kind of black and white movie. Then it flickers a bit like an old TV set and is out of focus. That isn't a lot. I'd call it very rudimentary vision, maybe 5% of normal visual acuity. But it means an awful lot to someone who has been blind for many years. We have a very special brief. 
we have to bring together technology and nature, electronics and tissue, the human body and a machine, and unite them. I don't believe this technology will ever be able to restore sight to the degree found in people with normal vision. The eye is far too complex, and as part of the animal world, our eyes have had hundreds of millions of years of evolution to develop. We don't have that time, otherwise we could make it work. But in the short time at our disposal, I don't believe we can. Thank you.